Welcome back, everybody. This is Kevin from Walker's Adventures. Check the link below to our store for all your RV travel logs, vacation planners, weekly, monthly, yearly planners. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and turn on notifications. So this week, we're going to be talking about Southern Cross. We have been with Southern Cross since, let's see, the first day was... March the 28th, uh, and now it's like May the 9th, I believe. So, about a month and a half, we had a first week of training was on a computer, which we did, had to do test every afternoon. Uh, but it's an open book test up here, and we're, let me rephrase, we're in North Dakota. So this up here is, you can use everything that you learned in your class. Uh, then the second, third, and, and maybe part of the fourth week, you uh, do field training with a trainer, so they're walking along with you, and it might only be two weeks, it might be three weeks, but with us, we was up here for the blizzard, so we had about a week where we um, couldn't do anything, because we had like two foot of snow on the ground. You can't uh, check the, the gas line when you got an abundant amount of snow on the ground, or it's raining. Uh, one thing about this job, so far this last week I averaged uh, 11,000 steps a day. So you do walk walk a lot. One day I think I walked, I think it was eight miles. The average is probably about three and a half, four miles. But I have walked as much as eight miles. So the pay, the pay is $15 a start. After 90 days, you get a raise to $15.50. Uh, after 100 and I think 180 days, you get a another 50 cent raise up to $16 an hour. And you also get 58 cents a mile when you're in town driving. However, the first 20 miles don't really count. You're supposed to uh, be on your job at like 8 o'clock and the first 20 miles you drive does not really count. But while you're driving the different uh, maps that you're working on, that does count. But what's the, what's the best part is they actually pay you to, to travel to where the job is. Like with us, we was in San Diego they paid us 83 and a half cents to go from San Diego to Bismarck, North Dakota, which that equaled out to about $1,500 just for the fuel. And they also, since it's over, for every 300 miles, they pay you and your significant other $120 a day. So with us, it was over 1,500 miles. So we got a $120 a day per diem, our travel expense, for five days, me and Linda. So that makes it really good. And also, uh, another thing that they have jobs all over the country from pretty much the East Coast to the West Coast uh, and North and South. You know, I th I, we know they have one going on like North Carolina, South Carolina, New York. Uh, I think they're talking about maybe this coming year in, in Texas and Arizona and they will pay you to go to where the job is and they also uh, what you get you're just like a full-time employee however they want you to have a camper it's, a walk, it's pretty much a walk camper position they call us travelers And another really good thing is that you get insurance. You get health insurance, vision, dental, 401k, however they do not put none into your 401k. So whatever you put in is what you get. And they offer short-term disability, long-term disability. It's, it's really good rates on all the health care. So what does the job entail, you might ask? You walk the gas pipeline in the in city and rural areas. Uh, you walk the main. You walk every feeder off to every 
business and, and a house and, and saw that there was no gas leak using a machine. Which the machine is very sensitive. It's it's not it's not a hard job. It's very easy. The only part is you do have to walk a lot. So what are the qualifications you might ask? Well there ain't really no qualifications per se, but you need to be able to use a tablet. You need to be able to know which, uh, how to use maps on your phone and you, and you actually get a tablet that has the maps on it, that has GPS, uh, and the machine and the tablet and everything else probably weighs about seven pounds. So it, it is, it does give you a lot of, adds a lot of weight to you when you're walking. By the time you're done, you're about claustrophobic, especially if it's cold and you got two or three layers on, then you got a safety vest, you got a tablet hooked around your neck, you got an oven, you got you got to have um, boots that hiking boots that covers your ankles. Uh, so yeah, you definitely need to be able to know how to walk a tablet and be somewhat computer literate. And that's not, not their qualifications, but that just makes it easier on you. If you are not very good at, at using electronics and computers, this might not be the, the job for you. And what we really like about this job, being a uh, traveler, is the fact that they will allow you to take off four months out of the year and keep your seniority. So that is very helpful we, we, we believe to some people that, that to keep your um, your pay once you get to $16 an hour you can take off for up to four months a year and then come back or if you don't want to do that you can just walk the job like we're in North Dakota they expect it to end around this job in North Dakota to end around uh, Halloween October the 34th <laughs> and when that's done if we wanted to take off and not walk again we could do that if we was ready to go back to work, we'd call Christine and say, hey, we're ready to go back to work. Where do you want us to, to go to? And they'll put you back to work. So, you know, there is no right or wrong way to do it. You just got to do what, what's best for yourself. And so since we talked about Christine, she's a real nice lady. We met her on Yuma, our court site. This is her contact information if you're interested in looking for a job with Southern Cross. So I know one of the questions I'd probably get is, would we do this again? Yes, we would. Uh, it pays good money, and, and what other company do you know of that pays you to go from who you are to who the job is to get that? I mean, that's just astronomical. And something I forgot to hit on whenever we had the two foot of snow, and we could not go out and, and, and walk when it was so cold and all the snow on the ground. We, in training, we actually got paid for, for that whole time when we were just waiting to go out in the field for the snow to melt so we could get out there and start training. Thanks for watching this week and I hope everybody has a great week and I'll see you here next week.